This video is based on my opinions. I don't know Eugenia Cuny personally and I'm not a professional regarding to eating disorders. It's also not to hate. Any hate comments towards Eugenia will be removed. Please remain kind and respectful. I will be discussing eating disorders, so here's a mild trigger warning, different types of alleged abuse, aka of Eugenia's mom, alleged, toxic impacts of Shane Dawson's insensitive video and of the internet, Eugenia's friends, her isolated life and extreme politeness that's keeping her trapped in her suffering. Now that I gave 10 disclaimers, I can peacefully introduce myself. Hey beautiful people, I'm Sky and let's just get into this. So who is Eugenia Cuny? She is this 27 year old YouTuber from California who's known for making videos about makeup and outfits. But I think we would be lying if we haven't recognized that most of her following comes from curiosity that's brought up to people by Eugenia's emaciated looks. Not being offensive but not sugarcoating it either. She's very known for having an eating disorder, more specifically anorexia nervosa. There's been plenty of videos about Eugenia and the anorexia's description in those videos is always made according to this extremely generic Wikipedia description of it with physical symptoms that are in fact very real and difficult to deal with. But eating disorders are extremely complex mental illnesses that are different for everyone. And I dislike when people put a label on Eugenia or make it look like it's so simple when in reality we can't know how it actually is in her case. EDs are often combined and it's really rare that you have just one. For example, anorexia can have binging and purging subtype. And depression is often included. Maybe anxiety and like so many other mental illnesses. So eating disorders most of the time aren't there on its own and can be a consequences of trauma from the past, low self-esteem, lack of control, which we'll get to in Eugenia case soon. So ED is a mental illness, not a body type. But the main thing of ED besides the wanting to get thin is focusing your mind on food, numbers, calories, numbers on the weight scale because you want to numb out the emotion you're struggling with and numbers kind of help with that. Oh my god, numb? numbers. I really thought I did something. <laughs> so there we have this life, this stress because of school or like relationships, job, family issues. But when you have ED, those things are simply pushed aside. Depends how deep you are in it. Your world might not get easier, but it gets simple or at least more simple. You're distracted by food, calories, numbers on the scale. And while people are constantly pointing out Eugenia's ED, I believe that her ED is just a consequence of extremely dark things and mental illnesses. Not that ED itself isn't bad enough though. I feel like the internet is focusing on all the wrong reasons regarding Eugenia. Even though there are some things that I agree with. For example, that majority of her subscribers and viewers are those who are curious if she's still alive or if she's gonna be alive for x6 months years and people who are there to trigger themselves i'm afraid that a large percentage of those are teenagers or children just the idea of searching one name on your phone and having a inspiration in front of yourself is dangerous and even more dangerous if you're like a children or a teenager like this inspiration is so simple to find now that this y2k fashion came back from like late 90s and early 2000s when the the ideal body type is like really skinny like Karen chic skinny or something like that and I feel that it shows with eating disorders in this era but the thing is back then it was so hard to find a thin inspiration like I feel like that even though I'm not from that era I, I know person that had like extreme eating disorder in that era um, and it was like so hard to find a picture of someone you know like skinny on the internet or like when the internet barely existed and the computers were all old and slow but now you have this phone and you just you just google it not only that is extremely dangerous and harmful for the mind 
but physical effects that come with eating disordered behaviors or especially twisted when it comes to young people even though like the younger you are more your body can handle but their body is still developing and the fact that they are destroying it before it's even fully developed like the body shape that is developed with puberty and stuff just to be skinny not even knowing how they're fully developed body after the whole puberty thing will look like. I feel that this is so bad and so dangerous. So they destroyed before that plus there come the long lasting effects as the mental ones aren't bad enough and there are the physical ones such as chronic digestive problems, osteopenia that becomes osteoporosis, like rotten teeth, teeth falling out, hair falling out, weakness and just nothing good. Do I think Eugenia knows she's triggering people? Yes. I think that she knows that and that she doesn't care about it much since she's too deep in her own struggles. Like yes, it's wrong but we also have to be sympathetic. We see her on videos and pictures that she posts and just how much of herself, of her body she exposes and by the looks of it, it seems like she's very proud of this achievement. But also, do I think she should be banned from the platform? No, because being banned for looking thin would just not make any sense since she isn't promoting eating disorders directly. At this point, the platform might be the only thing that is keeping Eugenia sane. But it's one thing to be eating disordered in isolation, 100% present in the moment while without social media, then having eating disorder on social media. When you get tons of comments and attention about your body, about your ED. And I believe that no matter if the comments are negative or positive, it's feeding into her eating disorder insanely. But here's a twist. No matter how bad it is that Eugenia doesn't take the accountability for triggering people with swiping everything under the rug, with the bubbly act of I'm fine, don't worry, like things and things like things cool and stuff like that yeah okay this seems like i'm mocking her but this is literally how her vocabulary looks like like the poor girl her brain is eating itself i do not believe that she's the villain in this case first of all she's the ill one second she's the one whose brain is eating itself while you're watching or we are watching her dying on the camera and third her problematic behavior is most probably a consequence of an extreme control and trauma that she goes through at home with her mom Allegedly. Oh, what a beautiful day. Are you ready to go preppy in a wonderful, wonderful way? Let's do it. Hey guys. I'm here again with my lovely mother. In the last video, she said that like, if you guys got to 10,000 likes, then she would make me preppy. Then we lowered it to like 7 or 5 or something. Five. So oh I God. guess we have to do bye so, bye so, email. So I guess now I'm, I'm forced to become preppy. So. Hello preppy. Shall we begin the transformation? Are you ready? You're going to love it so much. But even maybe your fans will go preppy too. Let's do it. Okay, so. So I'm here with my mom again today. I and yeah, she actually. Um, the situation has been, her life has been manipulated for years, um, and it's currently still being manipulated right in front of everyone. Like, it, watching Shane's video, it, it's such like a happy, feel, good... And we should be and happy. It's, it's completely covering all of the shit that yeah. is still there, I think, and could still be a problem, and it, there are still puppet strings right now being pulled that, I, I like, there, there were so many things going on that were toxic in that household that I explained uh, in detail and, and it, it was just glossed over like it's it, maybe they don't think it's a real problem or they don't know the extent of what happened but um, the conclusion was that the only thing that I could do was if I had her out of her house and into my apartment or into some other area where the mental health professionals could come and talk to her and that I would legally be able to let them into my own place. He was screaming. Um, These were not people looking out for Eugenia's best interest. These are people looking for some form of uh, gain and manipulation in a way that this video, the Shane video that came out today, completely glosses over the real problems and makes us completely worried that she's not okay. Um, the just, mom was discussed in this video as just going back and forth. They were always together, so it's difficult to imagine a scenario in which her mother wasn't 
watching every every move but her the lawyer was there when we would reach out and she would shut down what else are you supposed to say to someone you can't force it out of them some people that kind of like really weren't feeling you know, like, there was almost like some people that like never really said anything to me like before but then like later on were kind of like kind of like bullying me into like trying to make like decisions for me and kind of like they were just not wanting to listen to me at all not really wanting to hear like how i'm feeling so as I said, things I'll say in this video are my opinions and alleged. As many people speculated that Eugenia's mom is a bit weird and suspicious, I have to agree with this as well, even Eugenia's friend said that. Eugenia is 27 years old and she lives with her mom and her brother Chip, I believe. There's no shame to leaving the house late, the later the better if this means more stable finances. But Eugenia clearly has her social media money, because her platform is not small. So it's quite odd that all she does is stay inside and doesn't even know how to unlock her own door. Now everything seems like it's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, is there any more locks? Oh, yeah. Oh, here's another one. Oh, one more down here. <laughs> they really protect this house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it's not better than that. Well, that's concerning. There has been plenty of clips of Eugenia's mom acting weird as if Eugenia was some kind of a child or a doll that she can just dress up as she wants, aka talking to Eugenia as she was a child with that high-pitched voice and everything, expecting her to wear the clothes that she doesn't necessarily like, which is not the worst thing. Parents do that sometimes and it doesn't make them bad people, but it's beyond shocking of how much control her mom allegedly has. Based on the description of Eugenia's friends who posted her video that I find very sincere when they had an intervention for Eugenia because of her severe illness and Eugenia's mom called cops on them because of that. If anything, she should support them so her sick and vulnerable daughter gets the help she deserves. People comment that if Eugenia really wanted help, she would really get one and that she should just cut the BS of I'm fine act. But I genuinely believe that Eugenia is really trying and that she's genuinely not a bad person here. Like, I don't believe she's the villain, that she's the bad guy. And her eating disorder might be the only control she has in her life, in my opinion. I think you'd probably be a little prettier if you weren't dying. Uh, okay, well, um... It can be, like, really hurtful, I think, sometimes, and, like, make you feel, like, really lonely and stuff, because you just, like, feel like everyone kind of, like, hates you. Imagine, how could you possibly decide for recovery of years lasting issues if your own mom, who is around you 24-7, calls the police on the people who want to help you, who literally want to prevent your death? Just imagine. I believe that Eugenia consciously exposes her emaciated body knowing that it might trigger people, which is bad, of course, but no amount of attention she gets can compare to suffering she's dealing with. We are responsible for clicking on content for triggering on well, blah, blah, for triggering ourselves us and no one else like let this sink in especially if the trigger is expected and we know it's guaranteed let alone the unexpected ones those should definitely have trigger warnings on the video but if a person wants to trigger themselves they will click on Eugenia's video because they know it will trigger them so Eugenia's situation with her mom cannot just be cured because she is allegedly so extremely manipulated that she thinks that anything she does or says that's not approved by her mom will literally kill her mom. Eugenia is a real victim despite her darkness and I feel that no one else is really talking about this, about the real issue. At least on YouTube videos that are made that I've seen, like no one goes into depth about eating disorders or like her alleged abuse, you know. There are also conspiracies about incest and inside of Eugenia's family. I'm not here to make any statement, but let's just look at these two clips. It was this dream where a dog ran me, because usually I love dogs, but this dog was going a little violent, I guess. So what kept happening was it was this like little dog. It wasn't even really a big dog. But I was standing kind of with my legs like split open, not trying to be sexual here. 
and then this dog just kept like running back and forth like through my legs I don't know why I probably should have just close them but instead I just kept trying to like jump up to avoid him trying to you know get inside of me she then mentions random tidbits about her mother she says that they have always been very close on the drawing she drew them hugging writing not next to them there was nothing incestuous about a parent hugging and loving their child. Her need to specify could have been a joke, or she possibly thought that that action was incestuous, probably hearing it from her own family. You decide why would she feel the need to mention this. I don't know about you, but the fact that Eugenia's mom and her brother are like really overweight when Eugenia is, on the other hand, emaciated and they act like everything is completely normal, at least on clips that are there on the internet. Please comment below how do you feel about this fact because I really don't want to make any judgment or like say anything specific because I don't really know, but it's just odd to me. So, Eugenia can't just recover and move out. Apparently and allegedly, she's so manipulated that she can't even live normally. And this would really explain why she's so nice. Because she might be scared for her life to the extent that she has to be nice in order not to be punished. And her eating disorder's point might be that she actually wants to die. Because if she starves herself to death, it can't be seen as a direct you know, but that's just my conspiracy, my opinion, and not a statement because I don't actually know. Don't come at me. In 2019, Shane Dawson made a video titled The Return of Eugenia Cooney, and it got almost 33 million views. And it was made after Eugenia was only like 7 or 6 months into the recovery. Average anorexia recovery lasts to like 7 years when it comes to as extreme cases as Eugenia's. So imagine being hurt so deeply into this illness, not just mentally, but like time-wise, you know, years and years and years. Get into recovery for like seven months or even six which goes by like that at least for me so she barely got any better um returned to her allegedly toxic household so god knows how would her recovery go anyways and then someone makes a video about your return that gets like 33 million views that's so much pressure on a recovering addict because you know eating disorder is basically an addiction i can't even imagine the pressure honestly and i think none of us can imagine this pressure and people actually thinking you're okay when they just see the tip of the iceberg and you can't even say anything because you're so incapable of standing up for yourself or you just can't open up etc also remember when eugenia was worried to offend a person that said that she should kill herself because she said that that's not a nice thing to say like she was worried oh let me just roll a clip another thing that i think is not exactly obviously the nicest thing to do is telling people things like telling them to kill themselves or telling them that like you're just like waiting for them to die or things like that and um in my personal opinion i don't really think that like telling to anyone to like kill themselves or that you're just like waiting for them to die is really good and make like anyone I think feel very good. So no offense to you guys that like have said that or anything like that. And I'm sure that sometimes people do say things without really like meaning them or thinking about it. But I just kind of think that's maybe not always like the nicest thing to say. So I don't know about you, but I just find Shane's video like insensitive and shady. It's not necessarily insensitive what's said in this video. Like the little jokes and more serious discussions, I don't find it insensitive. I find it kind of wholesome and it was to expect that Eugenia would feel uncomfortable with some sensitive topics they touched, aka eating disorders and stuff. But it's one thing that those situations happened between two of them, and it's a completely different scenario when this is put on the internet for millions and millions of people to see. Because there's gonna be, I'm sure even on this video, I'm sure yeah. there's gonna be a lot of comments about oh, she looks so great, and then kind of comparing it to the last time they saw you, particular video, right, yeah. to now, and then are you prepared for that? I guess it's... I guess it kind of is like an adjustment like seeing like what people will say and like seeing those comments and to try to like view it as a good thing that like they're trying to like you know make positive comments towards you and yeah if that makes sense yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you. It's not hard to tell that Eugenia was uncomfortable, but how would she resist Shane making that video? You know, the too nice to say no to those things. Just her politeness that's holding her down. Like, how would she say no for Shane making this video? Even though she was uncomfortable, like, she might have felt that she would offend Shane or... You know, Eugenia. <laughs> I actually like how Shane was joking in that video, so the situation was like more loosened up. I'm not saying I like Shane as a person because I know that he's included in many controversies and I honestly don't even wanna think or talk about it right now because it's a video about Eugenia. So those little jokes that he made are a sort of a distraction, you know? It's cool to put attention to something else, not just Eugenia's body or her ED. And I can't really judge Shane that he did this video for money because I don't remember seeing any ads on it and like sponsorships because why would this video be sponsored? Um, so I actually don't know if he made any money by that but I don't know, it's still kinda shady that so much pressure was put on Eugenia. I don't know, just the views got very high. So I, I found it shady and inappropriate because Eugenia was like really vulnerable at that point. So many comments about she's better, but how do you know if she was actually better or if she was only acting that she's better so she could go out of inpatient care? Not saying that that's what actually happened because I know there is a lot of pressure on anorexics who are actually trying to get better but they are so deep into their disorder that it's not like noticeable that they are trying and they're being accused of not trying so I don't want to make this you know statement to recover from being emaciated is one thing but to recover from ED that's a mental illness is much more complicated than just gaining few kilos or pounds and all Eugenia heard when people said you look healthy wow she heard you're fat she even mentioned that in a video um I will see if I can find the clip like if you think somebody has like an eating disorder I think sometimes like you know telling them things like oh you look a lot healthier like you look so like healthy um which oh I feel so bad saying this because I know like when a lot of people do say that word like they totally mean well and it's definitely something now that I try to like view is like you know people definitely are trying to say it in like a bad way or anything like that but I know like sometimes I think kind of like when you do struggle with that stuff that sometimes like your your brain can kind of like interpret that as people saying like oh you look like a lot fatter and you can kind of like take it in like a bad way and I know that probably doesn't make a lot of sense and even saying that like I feel so bad so when she was looking physically healthier people didn't give much attention to her mental health and she might have felt that she wasn't you know sick enough looking to deserve the attention on her mental health the focus for people to acknowledge that things behind the scenes are like really really bad so then she relapses etc again my opinion maybe it's not true but maybe it is and she herself doesn't even realize that i feel like the ed is actually a cry for help and it's never just ed just ed in quotations if that wasn't the case, why would she constantly post YouTube videos and stream up to 8 hours a day on Twitch? Not to mention that people spotted some weird things on her Twitch, for example, some things that look like seizures or literal brain freezes of Virginia, which makes sense because her brain is literally eating itself at this point. There are also conspiracies that she's moving her makeup bin for anorexia to see her struggle and then do things to that and pay her but that's a theory I won't accuse her of it's not my thing or anyone else's thing to accuse her of that because it's not her fault like she's not the villain if other people might do that as much as we convince ourselves that Eugenia has more support than hate, we can't deny that either of that can be toxic. Or is it mean people or the people who actually support Eugenia that don't understand half shit of how much she suffers? Or there are people such as children who give her toxic support as Stop hating on her people, don't you see that the hate doesn't help her? Which is true, but they also defend Eugenia as she was actually fine. And if anyone else points out that she's not fine, they will mark them as haters. If a person is mean about her issues, sure, defend her. But if a person shows the sincere concern and her fans, aka children fans, mark them as haters, those fans should go off the internet until they are old enough to know how internet actually works. 
Okay, I think I've said enough in this video. It took me weeks to actually script the video to find the information. So if you want to support my work, you can give me a simple like and subscribe if you want to. And also feel free to comment your thoughts because I'm really interested what else people have to say. So just feel free to comment down below. Um, anyways, that's it. Sky loves you. Bye-bye. Stay healthy. <laughs>